Hello guys, this is Modassir Ali, one of the Enterprise DN Expert member. And in this video, I'll show you one use case of calculation groups. This was basically a query on the forum by, by one of our Enterprise DNA member. And what he wanted to do was he wanted to group and he wanted to see how many employees have been absent from work and wanted to create a custom grouping like how many employees have been absent for less than 25 days and then how many have been absent for like 50 less than 50 days and less than 75 days uh, this is uh, very easy to create for example you can go to your table in this case this table is called injuries table and you can create a custom grouping like this and what then you can do, you can group, uh, you can use this uh, new column in your visualization under, uh, under axis. And then you can have this type of visualization. First, I want to show you which measure we are using in, in this, uh, for, 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 for this example. This is uh, basically a pretty simple measure, which is adding all the injuries, days of work, from the injuries table and from this column. Now, I wanted to show you the problem. We have, we cannot use this uh, new column in our table. The problem was mentioned by our member Cameron and he said that it was not possible for him to create new tables or new columns as they were grayed out as he was connected to a different PBI models and it was not uh, possible for him to create new columns or new tables. This is where calculation groups came, came to our rescue. We will try to create a calculation groups and we will use the calculation groups to achieve the type of visualization we saw in here. So basically the measure we will be using is pretty simple. For example, we will be grouping total days of work under 25 days, under 50 days or any type of custom grouping you want. So what I'll do, I will copy this measure because I have already created over here and then we'll go to external tools tabular editor go and you have to go to tables right click create new calculation group and we will name this calculation group as calculation groups now to create a calculation item you have to right click again create new calculation item and I will name it as less than 25 days then I'll come in this section and we paste my code accept changes and then I will create new calculation item I will call it as less than 50 days. I will again paste my code, but will only change my my grouping criteria and will type it as 50 days. Accept changes again, create new calculation item, less than 50 days. Um, no. This will be less than 70 days, for example. Paste my code again. Now the last one we want to create. The calculation item would be greater than 70 days. Now I will go ahead and paste the code in this section we will say it is greater than 
70. Click OK. Save my changes. Refresh it in the Power BI desktop. And then the last step, what we have to do, we have to go to our calculation groups and bring our calculation groups to, to Axis. So we can see now we have the grouping in, in, in this visualization. But what if I try to change the sort order of this grouping? Uh, this you can also do it easily with the help of tabular editor. When you go to your calculation items, you and when you click on them, you can see that the ordinality has been set to minus one by default in every calculation item. So for example, if I want greater than 70 days to be on top or no, we already have greater than 70 days here for let's see less than 70 days. If I want less than 70 days to be on top or to be at the left uh, side in the visualization, what I'll do, I'll set the ordinality, ordinality to zero. I can do it again. Now it is on top, but I want less than 25 days to appear first in my visualization, then 50, then less than 70, and then greater than 70 days. So you can also do it with, with the help of drag and drop option like this. And then I want less than 50 days, less than 70. You can see the ordinality has been changed automatically. Now we can save our changes, refresh the page, and now you can see we have the sort order we wanted. And this is how you can use calculation groups if you are unable to add new tables and new columns uh, in your Power BI desktop. So I hope you like this video. So please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for my next video. Bye-bye.